So the next thing that I got um, was from the Warner Archive collection. Um, and several people have talked about the Warner Archive collection. One thing to remember about any of these movies you get from this archive collection, they're not going to be real, I guess what you call real DVDs. As you can see here, it's got that purple uh, disc color to it, which means that's pretty much a DVD R. And then, of course, they had put a um, a title on it and a, like a cover over it to make it look more professional. But they're not like the other DVDs that you buy at the store or regular Warner Brothers DVDs that you might buy online. Um, these are kind of like made to order so like if you request one from them I think as people request them they will make them for you and uh, send them out and you can also download it's like like kind of like on demand you can download them too uh, but I just wanted to go ahead and get the disc so I paid a little bit of extra money to um, get the actual disc made and shipped to me I think it was 19.95, and I believe if you just download off the site, it's $14, I believe. Um, but this movie, I have not seen this for years, or I had not seen it for years. I believe it came on um, Channel 14 or uh, NBC around here uh, when I was, oh, I was probably, I don't know, 9 or 10. Uh, when I saw it um, and it has Gene Stapleton for those of you that ever watched All in the Family uh, Gene Stapleton is the actress that played Edith on All in the Family Arthur Hill plays her husband on here uh, Helen Hunt, a very young Helen Hunt's on it um, and also the kid that played um, oh, he, he played the uh, Tommy on the on Halloween he is on this film too as well he's a little bit older on this film and also John Putch is in in this film and John Putch is Gene Stapleton's son and he plays her son in the movie so that's interesting too um, but what this movie concerns really which you can probably tell by the title Angel Dusted that it has something to do with drugs um, John Pudge plays a college student who, um, although we all know that, that no matter what kind of pressures you have, you shouldn't really resort to drugs and alcohol and things like that, but this being a cautionary tale, and it is supposed to be based on a true story, there is a book out by Ursula Eaton's, um, I believe that's the woman's name, and she's actually supposed to be writing about her own experiences with her son going through a drug pro drug dependency problem. Uh, but what happens in the film is John Putch's character, um, because he's under so much pressure to make good grades and all this stuff at college and he's into sports and things like that, um, he has a friend who pretty much provides him with, with any drug that he wants and he has smoked marijuana and evidently he and his friend had recently got into dusting the marijuana with PCP or angel dust and so he gets a joint from his friend and goes back to his dorm room and he's smoking it and he's studying it and then he, ha he freaks out because of the PCP and his parents get a phone call and they're called to the college infirmary uh, they've got when they get there their son's pretty much strapped down because they don't know what to do with him they say that they don't have a way to test and see what's what kind of chemicals he could possibly have in his body but the story pretty much covers this families um, having to go through this with with their um, son and how it affects each of the family members, how it affects the parents, how it affects the young man himself 
and how it affects his siblings. And the thing I liked about this movie is, although it may have been melodramatic in places, it didn't, I didn't feel like it beat you over the head with the anti-drug message. Um, it was pretty even and, um, you know, I really felt for the characters in the film. I have read the book, um, and the book uh, does go into more detail, so if you think you might be interested in hearing all about this story and what the family actually had, more of what the family had to go through with um, the son being addicted to drugs, um, I would suggest getting the book Angel Dusted by Ursula Edens. Uh, you may be able to pick it up at your local library or maybe have your librarian get it from another library through Interlibrary Loan. And you can buy it at like used bookstores or possibly on eBay. But anyway, that's Angel Dusted. Um, now, the next few things I'm going to show you were not things that I got in on order. These are things that I purchased uh, in the last few months and they're all Blu-ray so this is kind of a Blu-ray update or a Blu-ray review update on uh, some things that I've watched. Okay, so the first one is uh, it's an action double feature Blu-ray. It's uh, Dirty Harry and Magnum Force. Um, I don't know how many women you would hear say that they really like these cop action movies. Um, I'm sure there's quite a few out there that do like them and people that like just Clint Eastwood in general as an actor. Um, I love these movies. I think I've seen all of the Dirty Harry films and uh, Clint Eastwood just really makes these movies. If if they hadn't chosen Clint Eastwood to be Harry Callahan, I, I don't really think the films would have worked as well. But again, this Blu-ray has both Dirty Harry and Magnum Force, the first two Dirty Harry films. Uh, and they're not on one Blu-ray, they're on two separate Blu-rays as you can see there. And for movies that were made when these were back in the 70s, or at least I know Dirty Harry was made in the 70s, um, they look awesome on Blu-ray. Uh, the panoramic shots of San Francisco look breathtaking. And you know, you're probably thinking, well, these big cities, how they look breathtaking. But they really, really do. It really makes the entire film and the setting look um, more believable and um, more beautiful than it would otherwise. And I think it really works for the film. Uh, transfer is pretty clean. There are a few spots where you see like some stray um, artif digital artifacts and things like that. But for the most part, it looks really, really good. 